Hello everyone, I'm Social Democrat Mokolover, and thank you for joining me here in Fever Rank, playing as a good old USA with Mr. Long Dong himself. So, last time we elected him president, even though the Electoral College said he didn't win, doesn't matter, it's Fever Rank. We just go with it. We just roll with it. Cool, um, right now, we should make a decision. Should we do defend the border? We could build a wall and, you know, defend the border, or we could defend the interior, which is actually, in my mind, just better. You get 20% construction speed bonus. That's pretty nice. However, should we do public sector with more construction speed and daily political power gain and research speed, or private sector, which helps us with factories, and daily political power gain or efficiency cap? I kind of like education reform just because research speed... Why not? But mostly because of the construction speed. Review the union. More stability sounds nice. More political power is always very nice. We can core Alaska, which is cool. We can core Hawaii, which is also cool. We can core Baja California for some reason. Integrate Puerto Rico. Why would we do that? And then annex the Philippines. Huh. Okay, cool. The American Phoenix sounds good. Looking outwards. The perfect American. Ooh, the perfect American sounds like fun. Renewed? Restored? A new democratic bastion? Well, we could deal with Panama. I'm not ready to go to war with Mexico yet. So I'm going to go ahead and just choose public sector for more construction speed. So, by focusing on the public good, America can be rebuilt. What a great description. But I will let you know, I am just a little bit uneasy about Mexico. For I didn't realize, but they made their own faction. I mean, they only included the Central American states, so it's not that bad. It's really not that bad. Ooh, libertarian leftists, I guess. They're not that bad. Guatemala, El Salvador, not that bad. Honduras, Nicaragua, and they also have Panama. So I'll probably lose Panama Canal if I ever go to war with these guys. Maybe. Maybe. So, oh, demil remilitarization of Constantinople. That's kind of worrying. The Hellenic Republic declared war on them. Well, they're market liberals versus paternal autocrats. Oh, they're guaranteed, guaranteed by the UK. Oh, the Ottomans have so much more manpower, but the Greeks should have more divisions. And Portugal is still on fire. Uh, paternal autocrats versus market liberals. Hopefully the market liberals win, because we like them just a little bit more than the other guys, but whatever. And Brazil is still on fire. we got Union of Brazil, the United States of Brazil. Oh, wait. United States of, of Brazil. And then we have the Brazilian People's Republic. No, I could help down here. But these guys are probably going to lose anyways. And I don't, want, I don't want to lose any divisions. Yeah, that's not cool. You guys, though, go ahead and train. Because you're son, kind of a uh, green. Ooh. Light tanks. I, I guess technically I'm using light tanks. I guess technically. Don't have that many factories to spare, since I need to build more guns anyway, so I'll put you, like, down there. Yeah, just keep building guns. Mexican nationals attack border area. Try to defuse the situation. Declare martial law. I just am not ready for martial law. They have more divisions than us. I would probably never choose defuse the situation if I had a big enough military, but we do not. We do not. How are these units coming along? You know what? Just deploy them. I'm training them anyways, so... I need to at least cover the entire border area before we before we can do anything, really. Warhawk sentiment, more political power. Good, good, good. We are on early mobilization. I should get to partial mobilization as fast as possible. I'm building a military factory, two sets of civilian factories. That's pretty good. Is there anything else I can do about, with my political power? Anyways, equipment stuff, artillery manufacture, that sounds like fun. Light tank manufacture, which is okay. Small ship manufacturer, which isn't bad. Fighter manufacturer. And industrial stuff. That's not bad. I like that, but it's better to go to partial mobilization. Infantry equipment doesn't help you make any more. It's just kind of there. Education reform or daily political power. The poor of this country have long been neglected. With a simple push, they can be greatly influenced to become better American citizens. Yes, just tell them to be better. That works so well every time. Just tell them to be better. <laughs> Oh, the Greeks are actually doing pretty well. They even made an encirclement in mountains or hills. Yeah, mountains. Holy cow. Mm. Good God. The Middle East looks crazy or really bad. Well, it doesn't look too bad. It just looks crazy like it normally does. 
with the French owning this part. I Mashriki Kingdom, or just to me, it looks like Iraq. It's really long. Kurdistan, of course, Armenia, looking pretty good. Azerbaijan, Georgia looks pretty good. State of Iran. Hmm. Well, China still exists. And it just we it's just weird seeing that we have the national government, which reminds me of the what was it, League of Eight Provinces in Kaiserreich. It's similar, but not quite there. Similar. Of course, the Beijing government, New Manchuria. Ooh, synthetic oil experiments. Good. That'll come in handy. Do we need more rubber? We do need more rubber. So I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, wait. It's 1937. Get some more efficiency cap first before I try to get more rubber per refinery. Ooh. Ooh. Hamburg Commune is doing pretty well against Denmark. They even broke across the straight here a little bit. That's pretty good. <clears throat> Nationalize. Sounds like fun, expensive welfare. That's okay, we don't need to do that yet. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Ah, uh, education reform. And now the American Phoenix. One Phoenix, one America. One tradition. Rise again to claim the mantle of democracy even in the face of insurmountable odds. Absolutely. What is the UK doing? Oh no, you're the Dominion of Newfoundland. Hmm, Lord Anderson. <sighs> Canada is led by Lord Tweedsmuir. There goes Austria. They're social conservative. They're led by Edward VIII, I think. Ah, I remember I played as the United Kingdom once in Fair Reich. It's pretty fun, pretty fun. You know what? Do these guys have air bases down here? They might not. I was thinking about sending, like, planes down to help them out. Kingdom... You know what? I'm going to send volunteers. I'm just going to send you air volunteers. And I'm joined here, potentially, with my cat Binky, who is meowing in the other room. Yeah, maybe... Hmm. Where are some planes? Oh, you're in Puerto Rico. Okay, cool. Hold. Uh-oh. Cool. Yep, I can't send you any planes. That's disappointing. And, of course, I deny my own investments. The U.S. has refused to further invest in our military economy. What a shame. That makes no sense, but let's we'll go with elastic defense, because we want to emphasize tanks in this campaign. Eventually. Eventually. Oh, we have a lot of naval XP. Good, 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 good. So, I'm going to tell you guys, stop training. Go ahead and heal up. You guys, stop training. And rest. I should really use my naval speed. British Imperial Conference of 1937. Hmm. Decided that the, while the instability worldwide is cause is a cause for concern, a British uh, revocation of isolation would only worsen the said instability. The policy of isolation shall continue. All right, so be it. So be it. I forgot India. India. It Italy was here. Looks kind of weird. That's okay, let's get some more rubber when we do make some synthetic refineries. And we're going to need to make some more military factories soon. Ooh, Portuguese Republic. Just If you could take a Lisbon, Lisbon or something, please get some military air bases or something. <clears throat> oh, the American Phoenix, very nice. Yeah, I could desegregate the military. There's no real rush for it, though. A failure of the offensive. Less recovery rate, less attack. Uh, that could be much worse, actually. That could be much, much worse. Now, looking outward, the perfect American. Well, we did say one American. We could look at ourselves and make ourselves better by doing the perfect American. But looking outwards, by looking at who we can be inspired by is okay. Uh, what is this? R nude. With a quote from Abraham Lincoln. Or we do restored. We owe this to humanity. Um, I, I want to do the perfect American. Let's see what happens. By looking at ourselves and encouraging a lively debate on what it means to be an American, now and in the future, the vision of America will be, as everyone will know, perfected. Awesome. Partial mobilization. That's good for factories. Good, good, good. Is there any way I can raise my stability of war support too? Social democracy is okay. I already said that earlier. Economic demobilization? No. No, 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 no. 
Ooh, when selected, you get more stability. That's kind of nice, but... Yeah, no. I can get more factories that way, but... We'll save it for... Probably regulated markets. Oh, wait, open markets. Yeah, regulated markets. Oh, there goes the United States of Brazil. Or United States of, of Brazil. Ooh, I should... Oh, the theorists don't give me any XP. That's disappointing. Chief of Staff. School of Fire Support. Oh, I love artillery. That's really good. Plus 50% attack and defense. Or School of Maneuver. Since we are using tanks, but tanks are already pretty good. You can usually already crack enemy divisions. God dang. I never understand how Portugal, the Portuguese Republic, can send soldiers up here if they're already, if they're just like down in Africa. Doesn't make any sense to me. Oh, Italy, you're here too? Oh, yeah, Africa, Portuguese Africa. Hashemite Arabia, very good. The offenses have slowly stalled out in Turkey. Oh, and the Austrian state was at war with itself. Oh, the Socialist Republic is dying. Oh, well. Oh, they have no manpower, no wonder. You guys have a lot of manpower. Oh, you have a... What type of stash is that? Hello there. Oh, you're national populist. Alfred Prosk. All right, well, whatever. Whatever, not my concern. Motorized will be important to do as well. Let's get some better planes. I don't want to produce garbage all the time. Resource-wise, we're doing pretty well. We don't really need to lower our resources. We have the perfect American, though. And let's get rid of the Great Depression effects. My dream is a place and a time where America will once again be seen as the last best hope on Earth. Wow, you really want everyone else to fail, huh? Abraham Lincoln. Okay, well, so be it. Whatever. Let's go ahead and grab... Let's do that, just because it's good to be fast on industry stuff and to build these factories even faster. Our border city attacked. Deploy the National Guard. You know what? How strong are our divisions? They're not that strong. They're still training. Stop training for now. I'll deploy the National Guard. I lose a little bit of manpower, political power, whatever. Yeah, they definitely have more divisions than I do. Ah, oh, so not good. Now, I don't want to... You just pute any more out for now because I really need really strong soldiers. Warhawk sentiment, good. More political power, that's good. Mexico is just straight up asking for it. And you know what? You guys stop training as well. You guys, you are training, but you don't need to be. Go ahead and go back. Oh, what the heck? Oh, you, you're repairing, perhaps? I hope you're repairing. Docked in Virginia. Um, how about y'all just combine? Oh, maybe you're just new subs. You're probably just new subs. Well, garbage subs, but whatever. Subbies? Oh, there, there's everyone else repairing. Okay, that's okay, that's okay. Repair. Since there's not really much we can do right now. Stop training, repair. Stop training, repair. I mean, this navy is big, but that doesn't mean it's good. But it will suffice for what we need. Uh, oh, improved machine tools, good. Artillery, we can wait on that. Naval stuff, uh, it's not bad. What we have right now isn't bad whatsoever. But we could probably improve it just a little bit. I would like another research slot, but I don't think we'll get one. It's good that we got 3% more research speed, I guess. Research speed is always very nice. And I'm joined here with a cup of good old American coffee. Mmm, yummy. FLD, Valkus, Foundation for the Lord and Democracy. Hold on, hold on. Foundation for the Lord and Democracy. Now, they're not led by Pelly, but that sounds like... Like a wild time. Holy cow. Council of True Patriots. Council of Patriots. <laughs> oh, so there's True Patriots, and then there's just regular Patriots. Interesting. Charles Curtis, Quentin Roosevelt, Hiwi Long Dong, John Reed, Earl Browder, Durans Doyle, National Collectivists. Now, oh, I didn't have my own investments. Like I said in the last episode, it's really disappointing to see that Germany will... They have a generic focus tree, which is really disappointing. So they'll probably end up joining the faction of the Soviet Union. Which would probably be not very good for the French. 
What are they doing anyways? Can they go to war with Germany? Can they manually go to war with them? A unified government. Ottoman. That's not good. That's not good. Uh, the biggest Valkus in the world probably right now. The Fourth Boer War. Nice. The United Kingdom declared war on the Zuid Afrikanish Republic. Oh, and they're in Civil War kind of too. Ooh, ooh, new legacy. Ooh. The worst thing... Yeah, probably the most Valkus country that I know of right now is Mexico. Which might not be correct, but... Huh. You know what? If... Oh, Continental Supremacy. Ooh. Triumph in Berlin. Well, they still might go to war with each other. I don't know. I hope so. Um, planes. We're doing plane stuff. Let's get some better bombers since it's... We're almost two years since 1936. Almost. What is the Rhineland doing? Confederation of the Rhine, led by Yosef. There are Rhenish nationalism. India leaves the empire. Okay, so they left. So they had a civil war, they land, and now there's provisional India. Ooh, very nice. Led by Savarkar. Oh, the national populist. <laughs> why did... Why did Gandhi get assassinated? Oh my goodness, that's funny. Oh, good job. Uh, Kingdom of Portugal. Good job. I know this isn't the Portuguese Republic, but good job anyways. You know, pats on the back for everyone except for the Portuguese Republic. You guys do that. You guys do that. Oh, actually do that instead of the Michigan and Indiana. Illinois, you go up top with Ohio. And put you at the bottom. Because I still want to make at least some more civilian factors. We don't have a ton. We really don't. And make sure we're producing enough guns, which is coming along very nicely. Very, very nicely. But we got to keep an eye on Mexico. Always keep an eye on the Mexicans. You never know what they're doing. You never know. New research institutes. A lot of manpower. We have more. They have way more divisions, but we have way more factories. The longer they take to go to war with me, the stronger I become. Which is not good for them. But happy 1938, everyone. Hope you're having a great, great year. Does Poland... Oh, Poland does have their own orchestra. That's cool. I didn't realize that. Fulfill our promises. Undermine the minority's rights. Renewed. Good. Good. Can they go to war with Germany? I really hope they can. Hold on. Before I choose anything else. The incorporation of Lithuania. Cool. Polish Air Force. Restart the economy. Regional superpower. Latvian border. Fill in the gaps. Gain, oh, gain territory. Nice. P Poland might be a, a very aggressive country in this campaign. Or this timeline. A new democratic bastion with 20% more stability. That's nice. America now, America forever. As we look across the seas and the oceans, the plains and mountains, we know that we have triumphed. And the world has set in motion our rebirth. As our summonses to the calling of the defender. The summonses. Cool. And I guess that last focus, this takes 35 days, got rid of any Great Depression effects. Alright, not bad. <clears throat> we still have Sick Man of the Americas, which isn't good, but it could be much worse. We become a bureaucratic juggernaut, acting slow, or politically, economically, good times. 1938, good stuff. Let's go ahead and grab some more research speed, which I tried to do the other year accidentally, but whatever, whatever. Good, good, good. What can we do here? I might nationalize key industries. Just because a lot of the stuff is okay. Fighter stuff is okay for now. Destroyer submarine stuff is okay. It's not great. Light tanks. I really don't care for light tanks. I love the artillery idea. Equipment though. That's pretty good. You know what? Nationalize. So we use more factories in the short while. That actually might be better because that means I can produce even more than instead of just getting one factory at a time. One factory at a time is nice, but for 2 to 10 days, I can build up probably at least two factories. That's probably worth it more than issuing a commission. So let's do that. So we get more cap, more output, and more factories. I think that's pretty good for now. Oh, every single line we have here is good. Uh, declare martial law. I'm tired of them. Okay, USSR. USSRs. Declare war on the Mountain Republic. Good luck. Good luck. 
Um, good luck, Transcarpian, Transcaspian government. Ooh, there goes our political power. We are building quite a big infantry army up. I'm ignoring the armor for now because we have to. But we're doing pretty well. Warhawk sentiment, good. Good. Very nice. This is becoming much, much better. Much, much better. Closer support. Tactical bombers. We have 38 in reserve. Now we gotta make keep an eye on Canada too. They might not like us as well. So once we have a full slot out, like another 12 divisions, I'm gonna increase it to 24 divisions at a time. Because we need a massive army for at least defense. Ah. Oh, awesome stability. Awesome, 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 awesome. We will be waiting. Radar stations, future of aviation, strategic support. This is nice, but it's really not necessary for right now. Really not necessary. The navy can be completely ignored as well. The army, honestly, we've already done the most important stuff for the army. So, there's really not much we can do. Let's do defend the interior anyways. To our own aid. To defeat an internal foe. To our own aid to, pre to preserve liberty. Now, I do want to know... Oh, actually, let's take a quick look at Turkey. <clears throat> Turkey's dying. The Ottoman Empire, though, is doing okay. So they're both fighting Greece at the same time. No, no, they're not. Hold on. Hold on. Hold the phone. The Ottoman Empire is fighting just... They're fighting two. There goes the Mountain Republic. But the Republic of Turkey has a non-aggression pact with the other guys. Interesting. See? Nice. More consumer goods. Helped us build more factories. That's already better than issuing a commission immediately. Go ahead and build... A refinery so we get just a wee bit more rubber. Ooh. I know I'll build it there since that's gonna be a while before we can do anything with that. More military factories. Anywhere that has 70%, 80%, yes please. Yes, yes, yes. 80%, good. I'll build you up there. <clears throat> the longer Mexico waits to attack me, the stronger I become, which is great for us. Um, I forget which one. I think I'm doing battlefield support. Uh, let's not do that yet. Let's get some infantry stuff. Improved infantry equipment. One. Good. Better interwar fighters. We will have to get better carrier fighters as well. Guns we're doing amazing on. Sichuan clique declared war on the Yunnan clique. The cliques are at each other's throats. Good luck. Keep killing each other, though. Our infantry divisions, though, they're not great. They're only infantry battalions. They're no artillery. And in time, I'm going to make a massive amount of artillery. Orissa declared one of the Indian people. What the hell happened to India? Oh my goodness. India, you went kaboom. You, you decided for independence, but then you want to become too independent with each other. You have a really weird smile, Shurapad Amrit Dongi? Dong? Holy cow. Guys, guys. Jeez. It's freedom from the UK, not freedom from each other. Oh, Kashmir, hello. A regular infantry division, good. Ooh, the cavalry division is, well, it's 16 combat width. I should really make you 20 combat width at least. It's probably not making you, not worth making you 20 combat width, but I'm not going to worry about adding artillery onto you for now. That's okay. Uh, for now, go ahead and just plop you right there. <clears throat> and you know what? We're going to make you five, potentially five armies right now. So that we can spread around the divisions that we need. And pull off one. Two. Pull off one more as well. There you go. That'll be good. And we can defend the interior. Awesome. MacArthur, do you have any upgrades? No, but you're aggressive assaulter. I love aggressive assaulters. Democratic traditions for even 10% more. Stability? Yes, America has always been a bastion of liberty, at least in the Americas. But now it's under threat, and in a graver manner than ever before, the people will always come together to defend the nation. Or... Notion. It says notion, not nation. Cool. And go ahead and make sure you guys... God dang it. Um, Do that. Cool. And I want a lot of divisions. I want a ton of divisions. Holy cow. Wait, we got more manpower. In the interior. Ambrose Mosby. Reorganize logistics. How do I get more manpower? I've denied my investments for like the fifth time in this episode. Um, I'm not sure how. But I'll take it. I'll take it. <clears throat> guns. Oh my goodness. We're out of guns because I 
through on so many more guns that we need to make. Let's grab some more generals. So you shall be led by Curtis Hodges. Even though he's a panzer leader, he's also pretty good for infantry stuff. Ooh. Hmm, actually. Oh, that's really good. I might make him a... Ooh. A panzer general. Very nice. I mean, we already have other Panzer Generals. I think Patton. Obviously, I'm going to use Patton because I love Patton. Or Walter Kruger. Pretty good. Alexander Patch, out of supply. He's actually probably... It's probably better to use this guy for Special Forces. But whatever. It doesn't matter. Good. Good. Keep making more Generals. Or more Divisions. We are slowly increasing the number here. West Texas. I love West Texas. Just go to El Paso, though. Uh-oh. The Hellenic Republic won. Holy cow. Jesus. Greece. Good job. Market liberals are victorious. That's that's nuts. Oh, can you do a Megali idea? Ooh, maybe not. Oh, no. It's kind of a generic focus tree. Oh, and there goes the Austrian Socialist Republic. 1938 has been a weird year. The USSRs have gone to war. The Hellenic Republic finished their wars. You have a Turkish puppet now. I would not like... I don't like that. Why, why can't you just like... Just... Why? Oh, we got democratic traditions. I want to see a thick Greece. That's so cool to see thick Greece. Review the Union for even more stability that we don't need all 10%, but we get more political power. America has many holdings that is not yet consolidated, and many it has lost. Perhaps that should change. Absolutely, positively. Keep making all this good. There's so much we're making. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. America's coming online, and we're going to need all those divisions because the North is going to be a little bit difficult to take care of in time but let's get some better reinforce rate that would be very bueno make some better bombers yes please i need more na army xp though uh i don't want to do this because it hurts how much supply we have or our ability to produce equipment but i need more daily army xp because well i want to change some of our battalions at least a little bit more army xp let's at least get up to 30. union of brazil's annex good Armor divisions, we need to research motorize because using tanks and infantry, just not worth it. Oh, we need 25. Oh, I don't even have motorized. God dang it. That's so bad. Go ahead and start making some more of this. At least 60% somewhere. 70% Massachusetts. Good. I do want to save some of this for dockyards, though. Um, the South is pretty un-infrastructured, I guess you could say, perhaps. Nice, 166 factories. We still have the bonus to nationalize and key industries, so that's so good. So much better than choosing this stuff for now. Good, good. I should research some more naval stuff so I can actually make better ships. What am I making right now for ships anyways? Well, we're trying to do a lot of whole stuff. I can, ooh, 36 carriers. We don't have any radar yet. That's actually not a bad carrier. Dai Nippon Taikoku declared war. Uh, we're declaring martial law on the state of New Manchuria. What? What happened to you? What? Um, really upgrading this is not really worth it. I need cruiser mark two hulls. This isn't bad. It's really not bad. This is garbage though. This is garbage here. I need better battleships. New Did you get bigger New Manchuria? You might have. You might not have, actually. You're led by Kao Rulin. Review the Union. Good stuff. Tying extradition laws. It might be controversial to some to keep tabs and keep an eye on Mexican products and contraband, and perhaps the people as well, but only those who are estranged from the American ideal would truly be skeptic. Why? You're not even Japan anymore. You're Nippon Taikoku. Wait. And you're guaranteeing the independence of the Russian Republic. That's good. Transcarpath. Transcaspian government has been annexed. They conquered the London stock market crash. Militarism. Russian Republic. They're doing social security. Defend democracy. Kick in the Soviet door. Prepare against the Soviets. Reinvigorated economy. Oh, that'd be so cool to see them just go to war and win against the Soviet Union. But that's... Tr 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 Trotsky! Why'd you come here? Son! Revolutionary! You know, I'll be honest, It's I usually don't play Führerreich, but I guess it's a good thing. 
since I get surprised by who ends up being around here. I don't know. It's kind of weird. What is Italy up to? Are they going to be, you know, aggressive? They're going to ally Bulgaria. I, I want to see more aggression. Uh-oh. They're going to become Valkist. Eventually. Reviving the Charter. Huh. Anti-French defense in Africa. Ooh. Ally the British or challenge the Lion. Ally Hungary. Dismantle Serbia. Oh, the world's going to be such a fun place to be in so soon. Within a year. What are the Republican Spanish doing, though? Because we did help them. And they are part of the Entente Council members. We have Elastic Defense. Very good. I always choose Blitzkrieg because... Actually, I never choose Blitzkrieg because that hurts. If we don't choose the other one, it hurts our infantry just a little bit. Yeah. Infantry could use a little bit of a boost. So, mobile infantry. Recovery rate. More max speed. Muy bueno. Muy, muy bueno. Titan extradition laws. And we do have a few more divisions here. We have about like 30, 29 divisions on the front. Which isn't ideal, but it's not bad. Go and stop trading. And you never know what might happen with Mexico. And we have a lot of divisions being prepared. Good. Good. Strength in numbers. Fleet in being. It's not bad. Not great. Reaching into the Pacific. Radar stations. I like radar. 35 days ago isn't bad. Deal with Panama. I'm not ready to go to war yet, so let's not do that. Let's go ahead and do radar stations. It's only 35 days. A great description here. Really great. Artillery, we're doing okay on. Infantry equipment, we need more infantry equipment, of course. More support equipment. We're barely making any light tanks, though. So, we should improve this. We should improve this as well. Artillery will become... Ooh, we need more of this, and then more of that. That'll be good to do as well. Um... We have so many civilian factories. 128, that's so good. We have almost no military factories, which is okay. That's totally okay. But I'm feeling fairly good about our army now. Yeah, it's not great in some places, but we're definitely building ourselves up to be very, very strong. Go and make a hundred of you guys. Are there any places where I could get involved in, though? Um... You're really white, Japan. Holy cow, you're really white. Can I see any volunteers? I just want to send you guys. I don't want to actually... Oh, I don't want to get involved. Let's see. How many planes can I send to you guys? God dang it. Come on. I can send 146. So... Ooh. You know what? Bombers. Mm, you know what? I'm going to send you guys. Actually, you know what? I'm not even going to send fighters. We probably don't need to send any fighters, just because I doubt Manchuria has many already. So, let's see what we can do, and then we will end the episode there. Yeah, it does take a while to get over that. Second, Leticia War. Peruvian and Colombia nations are killing each other. Whatever, I don't really care about them. Let them kill each other off. Expansive welfare distribution, improved working conditions. Those are That's nice, but we already have a lot of stability, so not really worried about that. Open the markets. Oh, we're already pretty good. If I did any further, that might hurt us, maybe? At least for rubber, that would hurt us, maybe. The Beijing declare, government declared war on the new state of Manchuria. Oh, baby. That's not good for them. Can I send you planes? Nice, nice. I need more tactical bombers. I really need more tactical bombers. Manchuria, Manchuria. I'm out of, I'm out of planes. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Oh, are there planes here? No, they're not yet. Come on. It probably takes like a, at least a full day to get down there. Radar stations are nice. I love radar stations so much. Ooh, future of aviation. Have to be 1939. Strategic, strategic support. Double bonus for battlefield support doctrine, which takes only 35 days. Please get over here. All right. Um, you're to Kwantung. Are you there yet? Oh, you, you just got there. Good. Radio. Awesome. Like, get some radar stations. If you know me, if you've been a follower on this channel for a while, you know I love radar stations. Holy cow, I love them. Love, 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 love them so much. Oh, oh, you're both over here. Good. How much damage are you doing? Are you getting more ar air XP? You're getting a little bit. You're doing a little bit of damage. Not a bunch, but not bad. Uh, go down to 50. Just makes it a little... Oh, oh. There you go. That's better. And... Oh, well, you failed out that group. That's okay with me. We have no aces, which is okay. And we have 150 political power to spend on. What? Theorists, they're okay. Chief of Army, Elastic... Ooh, that's a supply consumption. More division attack, though. 
I like the supply consumption. I really think about my tanks. Light tank manufacturers okay, but they get the armor research speed. Artillery, that's pretty good. Weapon stuff, that's pretty good as well. Ships, good. Ah, fighters. There's really not much I can choose. I mean, there's not. These aren't great. They really aren't great. They're not bad. They're just not great. Um, if anything, we can help speed up our land doctrine so that we can start focusing on other stuff. Let's just do that. Makes it easy under Norton Shank. So, that will end today's episode, guys. If you liked it, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And tomorrow, we're honestly probably going to end up in a war with Mexico because I'm tired of dealing with them and their barbaric threats against us. Anyways, thanks for very much for watching, guys. And I will hope I hope to see you all tomorrow.